And again, in the workplace, everybody wants to be right all the time, especially in meetings. Explain how this mindset can actually be counterproductive, and can you share an actual case study of when this whole cycle? Absolutely. I was working with um, a company that was under a great deal of pressure to launch a product very quickly. And there were errors. Of course there's going to be errors. But the boss was very sure that his way was the right way. And when people brought news of the difficulties and the slowdowns that could be anticipated, he either got angry, told people they were wrong, mm. said he only wanted solutions, and generally his solutions were the ones that he wanted to hear. And what happened was that people were engaging in workarounds. They weren't saying specifically what was going on. They were hiding bad news. And ultimately, when the product failed, there was no one to blame but this manager because he had cut down the opportunity for people to bring the information that he needed, that he was refusing to allow other experts in. And one of the greatest dangers is not knowing what you don't know. And a big part of the book is connecting around ideas, being able to face the unknown with questions that we don't have answers to, but delight in trying to find the answers and being willing to open up our minds and our doors and bring people in who have very different perspectives. I mean, ultimately, Connect First is the greatest inclusion program you could have because you bring people in, you listen to them, and you don't stay so stuck with your idea and your commitment to being right. 